Hello everyone and welcome to game three in this best of um, best of I believe five series here between Daimaga and Goody um, here on Shakura's Plateau. So Daimaga spawning as the red Zerg player, meanwhile Goody spawning as the purple Terran. Shakura's Plateau, obviously a map that Daimaga chose um, as I believe the loser chose the matchups. That's why game two took place on Zelnaga Caverns. Goody and um, the Terran player obviously favoring that and now Daimaga choosing Shakura's Plateau as it is definitely a Zerg favored map. And the reason why it is a Zerg favored map is because you always guarantee cross spawns. And if you spawn on the left side of the map, you know that your opponent can only spawn on the right side. You can never spawn vertically from your opponent, only horizontally. So that is the closest possible way. And then a diagonal spawn is possibly the best as it gives the Zerg player plenty of time to set up his hatchery over here on the low ground. I would be surprised if Daimaga didn't go for a fast hatchery here on Shakura's Plateau as fast hatcheries are the norm. We may see an extractor first though, so those are the two openings that I expect to see from Daimaga. From the Terran player, I pretty much expect to see the standard barracks, supply depot, factory, and we may see the 1-1-1 one, one, one build as that is that seems to be the strategy that Goody likes to use. He doesn't want to go for multiple barracks as I believe he favors the mech style of play from Terran. Mech and definitely one of the benefits as now going for an early supply depot. So he is not going for a refinery and he that may mean he is going for just mass infantry. And by walling off this build here, the drone is not able to come inside, is not able to see what exactly is Goody, Goody is doing, doing and now Daimaga needs to play much, much more carefully. One drone battling it out against an SCV, I believe. Oh, the second SCV. Oh, getting another shot in there and down goes Daisy the drone. So Hero SCV has one kill and doesn't even have any damage to show for it. So one SCV there as we now upgrade to an orbital command. A second barracks should be placed down in just a moment unless Goody opts to go for a double refinery um, in just a moment. But that would kind of defeat the purpose. He may try to go for a fast expansion of his own here on Shakura's Plateau now that he spotted out this hatchery. So he sees the early hatchery and now he could be getting his own command center. And by getting his own command center, he'll be able to catch up to his opponent's um, his opponent's own fast expansion. The spawning pool currently in play will be able to train up a lot of SC or train up or allow the training of some Zerglings. The Zerglings most likely will be activating a lot of Zelnaga watch powers as a bunker now being placed down. One Marine but now trying to deal some damage. SCV pulling back as the Marine needs to run away from those drones. The Marine unable to turn and turn around and shoot continually against those drones. The drones may try to just finish off this bunker here. No, simply going to ignore it as there's no real chance that this bunker will be completed and Goody doesn't want to cancel it just quite yet as it does reveal sight into the natural expansion location. Command center about halfway done and now currently halfway done as now Goody goes into double gas. So double gas, we should be getting a factory in just a moment, upgrading this to an orbital command and Goody running and doing a very, very economic build now here on Shakura's Plateau wants to establish his own command center down over here and then and perhaps try to make this into a prolonged macro battle. There is that factory so Goody and instead going into double command centers off of one racks late gas into mech play. I'm assuming that we will see a second and third factory in just a moment. So Goody just taking his time now waiting to get this command uh, command center upgrading it to an orbital command and it does also provide 10 food so that definitely helps him out for not becoming supply locked. Waiting for that second factory. There it is. There's that second factory currently being built as Daimaga and Goody both just play um, a very macro style of play. 23, har 23 harvesters versus 30 drones. Daimaga pretty much knowing that he can power drone all he wants at this stage. So by power droning, he's going to have a very, very strong economy. Also by having Zerglings um, just um, positioned all across the map, he knows when to respond and try to build additional spine crawlers. So additional spine crawlers could be built the moment that and this Zergling or perhaps another Zergling down over here spots an army of Marines and Marauders. SCV is now being transferred over. There is one Overlord. The Overlord does spot that there is an expansion down over here now. Goody does not see that Overlord. The Overlord 
um, yeah, Goody, Goody does not see that Overlord. So I believe that Overlord is trying to hide up on a cliff. And I think it is actually hiding up on a cliff and preventing any low ground sight from that SCV there. One Zergling now making its way in. We'll see that there is the expansion. Once again, he sees the decent probe saturation and double mules um, being called into the natural expansion as well. Income wise, 1200 versus 1200. You can see Goody getting a lot of harvesting done with those with those mules, getting a, a very, very large economy of minerals as Zerglings try to run up that ramp once again. Zerglings once again going to try to run up that ramp. The Marines are already in position and now trying to back off. And now the Zerglings are getting even more damage, trying to pull away even further. And now nicely done by Goody. Goody making sure to minimize his losses by constantly moving his targets and letting the high ground units deal the majority of that damage. Now we could we should be seeing what oh, double tech labs. I there's there's that armory, so the armory does mean that we will be seeing Thors. We are also getting an engineering base, so a couple of missile turrets in order to deter of any spot any spire activity. And now I'm curious as to what Daimaga wants to do with his units. And, or what Daimaga is going to try to do. The Zerglings are now attempting to take down this backdoor rocks, establish up a, th a fourth base as a third base now already starting here. So Daimaga taking this time to expand while Goody taking this time to macro up. Level 1 weapons upgrade, double Thors being trained. We need more supply depots, otherwise we are going to be supply locked. And now adding a starport to the mix of army units, perhaps getting a medevac or a viking. Goody... And both players just sitting in their base now, waiting to see what can be done. As why is yeah this this is really starting to bother me that my computer actually freezes trying to record StarCraft Two, um, and that hasn't happened for a long long time. Hellions now back over here. Perhaps I need to um, what uh, disk scan my, my recording hard drive since I do write about 400 500 gigs to it every single day and back over here supply depot still being laid placed out starport and another factory being built so we may be getting the infernal pre-igniter research sometime soon all of this off of four gas so goody is going to have a lot of opportunities to build supply depots as he's not going to be spending much of his minerals but now going into even more factories so that is a lot of factories Currently being built, Mutilus now being added on, level 1 weapons upgrade, and now a hatchery being put down over here at the low ground expansion for the top right hand location. Another hatchery could be placed down here in just a moment as the Mutilus now on the move to try to perhaps pick off some of these SCVs. There are two missile turrets in play. Missile turrets have a range of 7. So they will be able to shoot down one per, one and one mutilus and damage another mutilus before any serious damage is done. There's one round of one round of uh, what longboat missiles. The Viking now trying to move out. It do, Viking does have a superior range, but it does not want to go head to head in a fight against mutilus just because mutilus are able to get within that zero distance. In comes a Thor, and that Thor now coming in, and now he's going to get magic box, but that's not going to work at all. As there is a second Thor already coming in to respond to it, that Viking now getting another round of Lancer torpedoes into the back of the Mutilus there. And there are two, one missile turret along the north side. So the Vikings now trying to chase off those Mutilus. Mutilus now still flying away. That one missile turret nowhere near close enough in order to get any damage. And the Mutilus will be able to live and fight another day. There's that hatchery I was talking about at the 6 o'clock position, getting the nose on the happy face um, of Shakura's Plateau. If you don't know what I'm talking about, eyes, eyes, happy face. Back over here, we still see Mutilus still wandering around the map continually as Zerglings hiding out in a little bit of the alcoves. Army-wise, 2,500 versus 2,000. One Overlord was just shot down for Daimaga. So Daimaga currently supply locked at 121 over 118. And now getting the Zerg Flyer attack level 2 and adding more Mutilus to that army. We also see a raven being added. So a raven being added to the army. And I'm curious as to how this raven is going to be used. Ravens do have seeker missiles. But I have not seen a seeker missile used in quite some time. Seeker missiles perhaps one of the best counters to Mutilus. If they can actually hit their target. Seeker missiles do move so slowly though. That it doesn't really um, deal that much damage to them. Um, it, seeker missiles perhaps best used against not uncharged zealots as I do not think 
um, Zealots can maybe Zealots can actually outrun um, a Seeker missile. I don't know the movement speed on a Seeker missile. I know a Thor can't, but I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure about a Zealot. Mutilus now continuing to wander around the map. Will be trying to put pressure over here in just a moment. Goody perhaps needs to get another missile turret in this location in order to fight back. And now um, Goody starting to mass up a very large army. Very, very strong mech play. 4,000 minerals and now making its way out. There is one Raven and that Raven doing a great job revealing all of those creep tumors. So by denying the creep tumors, he's going to um, slowly destroy the creep highway. More Mutalists are still being trained now, and now it's going to be 31 Mutalists, so 31 Mutalists, that is not going to be enough for 6 stores to shut down. 6 stores, um, 36 food versus 60 food and income to Mutalists. Now the Mutalists are going to be dropping in, and not enough energy for a point defense drone. The Marines do not have stim pack. SCVs are on auto repair. Viking is also in the air as well. Are we going to get a point defense drone? It doesn't look like it, but the Mutalists, uh, with the support of Marines, able to finish them off as those stores with 1-0 upgrades nearly killing the majority of those units. Hellions now barreling their way in. Zerglings getting toasted on this front door, making sure that they don't deal any damage towards the siege tanks or the vulnerable stores. And then Daimaga says GG. So Daimaga just getting... Just getting stomped right here on Shakura's Plateau, a normally Zerg, flav Zerg favored map. Daimaga did have a stronger economy, harvesting at 2,000 minerals a minute, but he powered drone just a little bit too long and was not able to get a strong enough army to defend what would be a very, very, um, a very, very effective push. Siege tanks, Hellions. Um, all with 1-0 upgrades, those Hellions able to deal a lot of damage towards those Zerglings. I think if the Raven even had the point defense drone, that would have um, just been icing on the kink in order to absorb damage from those um, Mutalists. The Mutalists, um, the, the Glaive Worm attack does get intercepted, adding an additional, what, 180 hit points to, to be absorbed, plus any additional energy that the excuse me, that the point defense drone is able to absorb over time as it naturally sits there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between Daimaga and Goody here on Shakura's Plateau.